going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot here with a brand new Netflix review. This time is for the film that premiered this past weekend, Fractured, the new thriller. I'm here to talk about the good, the bad, and give you my overall thoughts on the film and the score at the end of this video. But before we do that, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. And also comment below. If you've seen the film, let me know if you liked it. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments. With that, let's get into this review. <laughs> The basic premise of this movie is you have a couple that's traveling, uh, doing a road trip, and they stop off at a gas station. They have a six-year-old daughter. She unfortunately falls in this kind of construction site, breaks her arm. The mom and the dad take her to the hospital. They do an MRI. They, the mom goes with the daughter in doing so, and they become missing. And then the dad is looking for them in the hospital. That's kind of the basic premise. So starting off with that premise, starting off with my positives there, I like that idea. Because I don't know about you all, but for me, I'm kind of creeped out about hospitals. What's behind that door? What are they doing here? Are they diagnosing the right things, the wrong things, all that different stuff. So that the premise first and foremost kind of got me engaged and really interested in this film. And I thought that the director uh, really did a good job of creating that sense of what's really going on with this hospital is is what Sam saying uh, as far as what his his family's missing is true or they you know doing something behind the scenes it really kind of did a good job of creating that sense of uh, tension and sense of mystery around this hospital. As well as speaking of Sam Worlds and who was the, the, the lead of this film, you know, I, I know he has a bad rap. He's, he's taken these roles throughout his career where Hollywood really pushed him to be this Hollywood star with Avatar and, and uh, uh, Terminator and all that stuff. And I think he kind of stumbled out of the blocks, but now I think he's kind of coming to his own and kind of finding these films that speak to him. And I thought for the most part, he was pretty convincible as this worrying dad that was worried about his daughter and his, and his wife. And, and you saw that in his face, right? You saw the moments where he was like, is something going on with him? Something a little bit more sinister? What's his backstory about? And they, you know, they show that as well as, you know, you can see his concern and you can feel his frustration. And he kind of displayed that in a really good, uh, a, a good amount of the movie in regards to his emotions uh, on and off in regards to him being kind of a mystery, kind of concerning, kind of, you know, uh, worried about him. So he did a really good job in this role. And I was, it was really surprised by his, the emotion that he was able to uh, e e evoke on the screen. I thought he did a good job. And also most of the cast, you know, the doctors were scary and creepy and kind of mysterious. You know, all the other supporting cast members from the cops to the nurses, they all had a, 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 a dual side to them where it's like you can see their reaction to what Sam's doing. And you can also see the sinister side where he can kind of see these things. So, again, it kind of played into the script, into the, the tension that the, the director did and creating the sense of mystery of what's really going on. So jumping into the negatives of this film, here's my biggest thing with this film is it's very predictable. I mean, literally within the first 10 minutes of the movie, you you you. At least for me, me and Morgan were watching this movie. It's like, oh, okay, we, we kind of know where this is going. In the film, throughout the film, they try to throw in these kind of they try to throw you off. They try to make it seem something different than what it actually is. But then when the ultimate reveal comes about, me and Morgan were just like, yeah, we, we kind of figured that. And I think that kind of happens because when certain things happen uh, in the film, not giving too much away, it made it very obvious kind of what happened. And they did something else early, later in the film that was just like, there's something that, that happens and you're like, okay, this is a recurring thing and it kind of leads into what happened and, you know, when the reveal happens. So predictability was my biggest issue with the film as well as, there are moments within the story where there, there are some highlighted moments, again, with tension and, like, you're frustrated for the character, but then it's just, like, they throw in these kind of curveballs that just kind of defeat the previous scene, and it just kind of became a little bit repetitive at times and, and, and unbelievable at times as well. So at the end of the day, my biggest biggest problem with this film was just predictability. I, I wasn't on board with the whole film just because I figured out what was going on in the first 10 minutes. So everything else is just kind of, like, Really, this is where we're going. This is how things are going to happen. This is what actually would ha would not happen. But, you know, that's my biggest thing. And this kind of falls in the pit of the Netflix films that are just kind of hit or miss. And this is really kind of a miss for me personally, just because I kind of predicted the film. And that's not the film's fault per se, but I thought they could have been more creative in creating that idea of a hospital. Where's my family? And they played on that for parts in the film, but not enough for me to really enjoy it. So with that being said, I'd give this film a two and a half out of five. Again, it kind of falls in that pit, just uh, that mediocre type of pit in the Netflix film and not in that high, uh, uh, you know, high caliber films that they can produce. So that's my thoughts on the film. Comment below, like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and make sure you hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our videos. If you haven't already, Check out the videos that we've recently done from The Joker, Gemini Man, Netflix, El Camino, Hulu's Little Monsters. So definitely check out those videos and keep an eye out for some more reviews that we have coming this week. We've got an early screening for a new horror film, some more Netflix and Hulu film coming out this weekend, and of course, more trailer reactions. So definitely keep an eye out for those videos. Thank you for watching this review, and we'll see you on the next video.